Excuse me. Is Dr. Collins in? I'm afraid not. I haven't heard from him in a while. Oh. Well, he, he told me that he would be tending to a patient. I don't suppose you could tell me who that might be. Sorry. I don't have any record of that in his schedule today. Okay. This is creepy. What is it? There was a homicide victim named Deborah Jones from Texas. She was killed in the early 90s when Ryan was living there. My mom met Ryan in Texas. She was found stabbed to death. Her murder was never solved. The case went cold years ago. Okay, that is creepy. Okay. This is the list of Ryan's known victims. We have Linda Walker. She was engaged to Ryan in Texas. Gloria Wilson. Oh, Gloria's murder is the one that my mom saw. There was uh, Michelle Blake. She used to be Gloria's neighbor. And then before Ryan came to Port Charles, he killed Helen Parks and Maggie Anthony. They were both stabbed to death. And then after he got here, he killed Jessica Holmes. And when he was caught and sent to the mental hospital, he killed his occupational therapist, Connie Cooper. That's seven. So if you add Deborah Jones and Suzanne Smith, you've got nine. Who's Suzanne Smith? I remember saying her name with Deborah's. I, I just can't remember who I was talking to. You know, it was my mom who said there were nine victims. She saw the names on a list in Kevin's office. Maybe we should call your mom. I've been trying all afternoon. It keeps going to voicemail. Okay. Okay, let's say that you're right. And this Deborah Jones and Suzanne Smith were Ryan Chamberlain's eighth and ninth victims. How does Kevin know their names? When the police don't? Something is very wrong, Maxie. Where's Franco? He attacked me again and took off. Secure all the exits immediately. We can't let him get away. Playing worked. The killer is Brian Chamberlain. 